New York, 28th of June, 1939. Here we go into round one. Galeno's much heavier than Lewis. Tony weighs 233, Joe 200. But Galeno's 33-pound advantage doesn't bother Lewis. The bomber knocked out Primo Canera, who had a 68-pound weight pull. Shaken up by that left hook. This Tony is really dangerous. When his fists land, you know you're hit. Lewis won the heavyweight title from Jimmy Braddock by an eight-round knockout just two years before this fight. Since then, Joe's defended his title six times. And only one opponent, Tommy Farr, lasted more than five rounds against the bomber. Lewis has been installed a nine to one favorite tonight. one. Now here we go into round two of this 15 rounder between Joe Lewis, the world's heavyweight champion, and two-ton Tony Galeno from Jersey. That left counter shows Lewis's strategy tonight. He's making Galeno lead and he opens him up for the counter. Galeno promised his friends this scrap wouldn't go beyond five rounds. When Lewis heard about it, he said, sure, but he'd be the one to end it with a knockout over Tony. Tony also said he'd murdered Joe and he called him a bum. But the bomber wasn't mad at Galeno. He says Tony's just a fat old man, just another day's work. Right cross and left hook. What a power combination. Galeno up at the count of two. That was the first time Galeno had been knocked down in all his 11 years in the ring. The end of round two. Now here we go into round three. Galeno's handlers have had to patch up his eyes. Both his eyes are pretty badly cut up. by Galeno. Lewis up at the count of two. This is a surprise. It's the first time that Joe's been knocked down since he took the title from Braddock. The crowd is wild. They're screaming for Galeno to follow it up. Tony just doesn't know what to do. Leno may not be in the best of shape, but he throws a lot of dangerous leather. The end of round three, and the crowd buzzing about Lewis's knockdown. Now here we go into the fourth round of this 15-round title bout between world's heavyweight champion Joe Lewis and two-ton Tony Galeno. Between rounds, Galeno's manager told him that Lewis was ready to be taken. But he told Tony not to go in wide open. 
He said, look for a clean shot, then slug him again. Joe looks all right out there. Seems to have recovered from that knockdown. Of course, that wise old trainer of his, Jack Blackburn, knows how to pace Lewis, how to take care of him. Galando completely helpless. Tony drops to his knees, he's in bad shape, and the referee stops the fight. It's all over. Big time, two minutes, 29 seconds of the fourth round, the winner and still world